Hi there, it's Scott here for the curling store and today we're going to talk about some of the sticks that are available for stick curling. So we're going to see more and more of a transition uh, of, you're going to see a lot more um, curling sticks out on the ice. Uh, in curling we have an aging demographic uh, and there's also, you know, we're always trying to get new members so there's people that have knee injuries, back injuries, shoulder injuries, there's any number of reasons why they can't slide out of the hack. That doesn't mean they can't enjoy the sport just like the rest of us. 60% of the game is the social aspects of it anyways. So here we have three different options for stick curling um, that are available. There's many different sticks available. There's many different head attachments that are available. It's kind of important for you to kind of figure out the one that you like the best. Everyone's a little bit different in how they like to hold the rock handle. It's the same thing with sticks. So you gotta kinda, it's a little bit of trial and error or you just find something, start with it and stick with it. So this one's kind of nice, the Gold Line Sabre. Um, it actually has the head attachment as well as the uh, handle that goes on top of the curling stone. And that allows you to carry one device rather than a broom and a stick. So it's a, it's a popular model. This has been around for six or seven years or maybe even a little bit longer than that. And what you do with this guy is you sweep like you would normally sweep on the ice. And uh, when you're ready to throw your stone, all you have to do is flip it over and adjust your head to go on over the curling rock and then when you're done you just flip it back. One of the limitations of, of this device is if you're putting a lot of weight on the broom handle, it's okay if you're if you're you know not putting as much weight on as you used to and you're, you're definitely going to see less friction on the curling ice versus this but if you're putting a lot of weight on it this can have a tendency to roll on you um, so if you're doing that and you want to have one device, a better option is to go with something like the Excalibur here and put your broom head on the opposite end. Uh, so that's something that we do here in the store. I can put a broom head or I can put this head on the opposite end of your curling broom, um, provided it's a one inch handle. Um, this one here has been our best selling uh, stick for, the long, for a very long time. It's the Goldline Excalibur composite handle nice and light, easy to maneuver with. Um, this one has the wings that are in the back, so you're actually pushing from the back of the curling handle. Um, so again, that's something that it, everyone's a little bit different, and I've, I have seen people where they actually take these wings off so they can lift it off the top of the handle. In the middle here, this is an extendable stick, and this one is actually has a cylinder. So what it does is it slides over the top of the broom handle and you're actually pushing from the front of the broom handle rather than the back. Is one better than the other? Maybe, I think it's just a matter of what you get used to and what feels more comfortable in your hands. Uh, these two are about 50 inches, the same length as a broom handle. So there's a little bit limited in, in flexibility if you like to have a longer one. This one will extend out quite a bit longer uh, and it also, it shrinks down a little bit better in terms of storage. So we may see more extendable uh, sticks, they're especially popular in wheelchair curling. Um, there's, I think there's a bit of an advantage in terms of having a longer stick when you're playing wheelchair curling. So again, we're going to see more products have become available for stick curling as it's a growing part of our sport and we're trying to attract new members all the time. So this just gives us an opportunity to offer them a different way to try to do the game that's not so reliant on knees and backs and, and whatnot. So don't forget to check out more of our videos at thecurlingstore.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel.